Being a part of the BGC Toronto Kiwanis community makes me feel connected. You had some very important years with the club. Um, and I really wanted to hear what you had to say now since you've moved on. Um, you're still around, but you've moved on. <laughs> so, you know, for those who may not know and are watching this, Ian Edward, you are the former executive director of the club. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but for 15 years? Thereabouts, yeah. All right. And now you are the regional director with BGC Canada. Um, so the first question I want to ask you is, what does opportunity mean to you? For me, for me um, you know, when you, when you come to work every day and you look around, you know, there's this idea of what can I accomplish and what can I what can I do to make things better for for those that uh, we're trying to serve. And when you're working, uh, you know, in a in a club, it's it's often, um, you know, it's it's easy to get get bogged down on the day to day and the you know mm -hmm. is, is is the washroom open yet? Has it been cleaned properly? Has the you know did the person last night lock the building up properly? Did you know did did did? But I think really what you have to start each day and each, make each decision about is what's in the best interests of the young people and families that you're trying to serve in the communities that you're working in. And I think that provides opportunity mm -hmm. uh, because you know you can. If you get stuck on all those other things, you don't see the opportunities that are before the organization and, and really trying to create the opportunity for the organization and the great people that are attached to organizations like the, you know, like, like the club. Um, make, make it happen. That's, that's mm -hmm. sort of maybe how I would answer that question. How do you think the club changed or shaped or impacted you? Um, I think one of the hardest things to, you know, I, I went back to the club from a regional uh, organization because I missed seeing young people and I missed uh, seeing the impacts of the work when you work regionally or nationally like I do now. You know, you write grants, you develop systems, you, yeah. you develop curriculum. You don't see the on the ground change in a young person or the impacts that it has on a family. And so I went back because I missed seeing that with young people. Um, I think the hardest thing that I saw when I went back to the club was the number of young people's funerals that I had to go to and, and you know, the amount of gun violence in the community and, and you know, our, our, not our inability, but it just, it didn't matter what we seemed to do. We really, we couldn't stem the tide that was coming and, and it came and, um, and it was hard. It was hard on staff. It was hard on the board. It was hard on funders. And and um, I think that was sort of the the, the biggest challenge and, and some of the hardest work. Um, so I'm going to ask you to put your executive director cap back on for one final question. Um, if you had the opportunity to sit down with somebody who had no knowledge of BGC Toronto Kiwanis, what is one thing you would like them to know about the club? Wow, one thing you'd like them to know about the club. Well, I think I mean I think it changed I think it changes the lives of young people who who are, you know, who it who it touches. You know, and and it is a bit of a funnel. There's a there's a wide mouth at the youngest age and a narrower and uh, you know, as they get older, but those young people that really stay on the stay connected are the ones that you really see success in and you know you you know as an old guy like me um you get invited to their weddings and you get invited to their you know their significant birthdays and those sorts of things years later and you don't you don't necessarily in the moment realize the impact that you're having 